Trina Braxton says husband Von Scales punished her for mourning ex Gabe Solis. Things went a little left during a discussion between Trina Braxton and her husband, Von Scales, during a recent episode of their post show podcast. While the couple chatted about the latest episode of The Braxton's Clips and Cocktails, Trina mentioned that she felt Von punished her for grieving her ex husband, Gabe Solis, when he passed from cancer in 2018 at the age of 43. Scales didn't deny Braxton's accusations and confirmed that he did indeed have a problem with her grieving her ex-husband. That was absolutely true. I was angry, Scales said. He continued. If you want my honest opinion, I don't see a lot of difference between how you grieved for Tracy and Gabe, it looked the same to me. To me, the grief seemed too strong for someone you'd had all those problems with, Scales later added. Scales reinforced that he didn't like the way Trina, 49, grieved Solis, who helped her raise her two children Eric and Caleb Mojica from a previous relationship. It looked like you still had real strong feelings for the dude, which made me think, what am I doing here? I didn't like any parts of it. Solis and Braxton were married for 12 years before they finally split. They did eventually become the best of friends, and Scales referred to their relationship dynamic as a unique paradigm. I'd never seen two people who were married had a terrible divorce, and then became best friends. That was some new S, T to me. That's all I said. And to this date, I still haven't seen it, he said. Scales also made it a point to state that he wasn't jealous of Trina's ex, claiming that he even provided medical advice after Solis was diagnosed with cancer. Fans weren't feeling his comments on how his wife grieved her ex and deemed it a red flag. They feel Braxton has the right to grieve an ex she shares 12 years of history. Scales and Braxton met through a mutual friend and got engaged in 2019 shortly after Solis passed away. At the time, Trina was both excited about getting engaged but also grieving her ex-husband. It was a very difficult time, she admits. My sons had a really difficult time as well, but you know, thank God for my fiancé now. Trina said back in 2019. He knew it was strictly out of friendship, she continued. However, I'm sure it was very difficult for him to watch and to be able to hold me at night while I'm crying over someone else. But he knew where the place was, where my heart was in, and I just thank God for him. Tracy Braxton's sisters re refused to let her husband, Kevin Surratt, appear on The Braxtons. Tracy's family and her husband of 25 years remain at odds years after her 2022 death. As the Braxton family continues to share their story on their new ETV show, The Braxtons, fans learn more about some of the moments we missed when the sisters went on a reality TV hiatus in 2020. Viewers of the season have seen how Tracy Braxton's death from esophageal cancer has affected everyone on the show. Tony Braxton, Tawanda Braxton, Trina Braxton, Tamar Braxton, and Evelyn Braxton, as well as the family members we became familiar with on Braxton Family Values. While the new series follows Tracy's son, Kevin Surratt Jr. as he battles his grief and other personal issues like a divorce and an arrest, so far, we haven't seen Kevin's father and Tracy's husband, Kevin Surratt Sr. Although Kevin Sr. often appeared on BFV with his wife, a recent episode of The Braxtons showed her family doesn't want him near the show they created to honor her memory. So, what happened between Tracy's husband and The Braxtons? Here's what to know. The sisters discuss their strained relationship with Kevin Sr. in Season 1, Episode 4 of The Braxtons. In one scene, Tony attempted to increase their peace by asking Trina to talk to him, but Trina informed her that she and the rest of the family weren't interested. The Breathe Again singer then shared in a confessional why the sisters aren't seeing it for their brother-in-law. I can understand why no one wants to talk to little Kevin's father, Tony admits. There was a pretty public rift between us and him right after Tracy died. Tony further explained the family took offense to Kevin Sr.'s decision to have a funeral for Tracy after she passed away on March 12, 2022. She says Tracy previously told her family she never wanted a funeral because she didn't want anyone to be sad on her behalf. Kevin Sr. went against her wishes and had a public memorial with Zoom links for those who couldn't attend in person. Neither Tracy's sisters nor her mother participated in the event, and she often stated it wasn't what she wanted. On the show, Tony defended Kevin Sr.'s actions by suggesting the couple, who were married for 25 years, may have discussed other funeral arrangements privately. But the sisters soon discovered that wasn't the case. 
Tracy left her son, Kevin Jr., in charge of her will instead of her husband. The episode also revealed that Kevin Sr. claimed Tracy wanted a funeral and opted out of having one only when she was on her deathbed and couldn't make coherent decisions. The drama regarding Tracy's wishes drove a wedge between Kevin Sr. and Kevin Jr.'s relationship, as he Kevin Jr. agreed with the rest of the Braxtons that his mother was in right mind when she chose not to have a funeral. In another scene from the Braxtons, Trina and Kevin Jr. visit the family's lawyer, Antibius Weems. Weems handled Tracy's will and confirmed she left Kevin Jr. as her beneficiary, not her husband. He also said Tracy asked him to record her, and he honored her wishes. Tawanda and Trina refused to give Tracy's husband a platform. After their visit, Trina met up with Tawanda and her boyfriend, Sean, to unpack what Antibius told her and Kevin Jr. Once Tawanda learned Tracy wanted her son in charge, she got upset with Kevin Sr. and expressed it at Trina's house. Then, Trina dropped the news that production wanted Kevin Jr. to film a scene with his dad and their father, Michael Braxton Sr., which she said no one agreed to. I made it very clear, she said. I'm not trying to give a platform for his dad to film in any way, shape or form. Tracy Braxton's husband says her famous sisters are treating him like a bad husband over funeral arrangements for his late wife. Kevin Surratt claimed his late wife Tracy Braxton's sisters are treating him like a bad husband. I was with my wife, more than anybody in this world, he told Page Six. Surratt held a viewing for Braxton but her sisters and their mother did not attend. Kevin Surratt claimed the sisters of his late wife Tracy Braxton are treating him like a bad husband for planning a funeral service because they said it was against her wishes. I was with my wife, more than anybody in this world, Surratt told Page Six. I know my wife, and when she got cancer, we really started to communicate about funeral plans and I was still trying to find treatments for her. He added, I went to every single one of her doctor appointments throughout our entire marriage. That's how we were, and now they're treating me like a deadbeat husband. Braxton died at age 50 from esophageal cancer. As previously reported by Insider, Surat confirmed her death to TMZ, saying, We have come to a time where we must inform the public that after a year of privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory. Surat held a viewing for Braxton, but her sisters, Tony Braxton, Tamar Braxton, Trina Braxton Scales, and Tawanda Braxton, and their mother Evelyn Braxton did not attend. Surat told Page Six that his father-in-law and brother-in-law came in briefly. The Braxton family is said to hold their own private memorial on April 2nd, which would have been Tracy's 51st birthday. On last week's episode, Trina Braxton sat down with grief counselor Spirit about how she's coping with her sister Tracy's death. Trina shared with Spirit that she's unable to sleep and self-medicates with food and alcohol. She also says that sharing her feelings about Tracy's death is difficult because when she grieved the loss of her ex-husband, Gabe Solis, her current husband, Von Scales, punished her. The couple had a tense exchange in a YouTube live discussing the episode that has fans in an uproar. While discussing the comparison between the two deaths, Vaughn said, If you want my honest opinion, I don't see a lot of difference between how you grieved for Tracy and Gabe, it looked the same to me. Before you leave the channel, kindly hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.